Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to the first video in a series of what's going to be how to program HTML and create your own web pages. I know I've actually created uh, HTML tutorials before on here, there was a couple of them, but I figured I'd just restart over. I got a new headset. Um, before I was using just a regular microphone, but now I bought a Logitech headset, so the quality of the um, audio should be a lot better than it was previously. And I'm also recording this, uh, I believe, in 720p so uh, it should be a lot easier to see and not be like a small box. Anyway, I'm gonna leave the old tutorials up for right now. I'm not sure if, if I'll take them down or not in the future, but for right now I'm just, just gonna stay here in case anybody wants to view them. But I'm pretty much gonna start over. Anyway, so if you're new to HTML, what it stands for is Hypertext Markup Language, and it's basically the way that browsers uh, know what to display on your screen. Uh, for example, when you go to google.com uh, and you see the Google logo and everything, uh, the browser is actually taking information that was programmed in and it's uh, telling it what to display, what images to display, uh, what goes where, stuff like that. So uh, pretty much all you're going to need if you want to program HTML is a text editing program. Uh, you could use Notepad if you're on Windows or uh, Microsoft Word, whatever you want to use. I personally like to use Notepad++. It's a, um, it's a free Notepad program. And uh, here's the web page for it. It's notepad-plus-plus.org. And it's a, it's a source code editor, so it gives you uh, the option to have syntax highlighting instead of just regular black text, You can, which if you use HTML tags, uh, stuff can get confusing. So if you use, uh, you can actually set your language, and it'll highlight everything according to what it actually is. So here I can choose HTML so it'll you can see that it makes uh, everything look a bit nicer. Um, anyway, so once you uh, got your text editor up and running, you should save your file. And uh, there's a certain way you should save it so it actually opens up as HTML. So uh, I'll go through that right now. If you go to File and then Save As, and then uh, you can save it to wherever you want to save it. But uh, I'm going to save it to a folder I called HTML Tutorials on my desktop. And I'm going to call this, we'll call it Tutorial. Uh, tutorial1.html and make sure that you select your file type uh, if you're using regular notepad on Microsoft uh, computers or if you're using Microsoft Word it might be in a .doc or just .txt file uh, make sure you choose select all files if in the case of that or if you're using notepad++ uh, there's also there's actually an HTML uh, file format that you can choose so uh, you should select that and make sure you type in .html so that's important there the .html um, so once you've done that, just go ahead and click Save. And you can actually uh, go into your location where you saved it. And you can launch it. And this right here is actually what our document looks like. You can see it's blank because we haven't put anything in it. Uh, and here's the location of it right here. Uh, so this is the tutorial one file name that we gave it. And there's the HTML extension. So um, now that we've saved our document, we can actually begin writing, writing some code. And uh, in this first tutorial video, I'm not going to I uh, write a lot of code. We're probably just going to set it up so we can uh, just go into the code in the next couple of videos. So if we go back to our text editing, uh, we can learn some more about HTML. So HTML is made up of a series of tags. Most of them have uh, an opening tag like this and a closing tag, which is uh, just denoted by a forward slash. And now uh, that's basically saying that anything between this tag here and this tag here uh, is HTML. Um, so every HTML page you're using um, needs to have an opening HTML tag and a closing HTML tag. That's just to tell the browser, you know, hey, there's HTML on this page. And that's it's just important to have there. A lot of other tags also require opening and closing uh, tags. And uh, some of them, for example, would just be like the, like the bold tag. So basically any text you put in the uh, bold tag, uh, oops, that you put between here, uh, would be bold, so it just tells it to you know start the bold here, end the bold here, so that any text out here isn't bold. Um, but we'll learn more about that later. So anyway, in setting up your HTML page, we add our beginning HTML tag and our ending HTML tag, and um, also we'll add a head. And uh, basically, the head is just a bit where you can put information such as the title, uh, which in a web browser would be up here. Right now, all we see is the uh, the path of the file, but we can change that. 
So if we add a head, oops. Um, so we have the head of the file right up there, and then next we're going to add a body tag. And the body is actually, uh, it also requires a closing tag by the way. The body tag is where on the web page we're going to have all this stuff here. This is the body of the web page. It's blank right now, but we'll add some stuff into it in a couple minutes. Uh, so basically, this is what we have right now. Um, actually, in the head, we can actually add our title tags. Uh, we'll do it like this. And in between our title tags, um, just remember to have the closing tag there. We can put whatever we want. We can. I'll call it HTML Tutorial 1. And uh, if we go ahead and save this, and we come over here to our web page and refresh, you'll notice that it changed instead of the path here. Uh, it actually changed to HTML Tutorial 1. Whatever, whatever your title is will usually appear here uh, or at the top of the browser. So that's one thing we learned to change. So this is the basic uh, setup of an HTML page. Uh, most, if not all, of your HTML pages will uh, end up looking like this. Just basically the title, metadata, anything, you know, can go in here, JavaScript, uh, stuff like that. And basically anything that you want displayed to the users, um, for the most part, will go in the body. So if we type, for example, body, save it, and then come over here and take a look, you'll notice that we actually have something in the body now. So um, if you just uh, take a minute, you can play around with that, see how it works, uh, change the title. Um, in the next tutorial, we'll learn how to add text and a uh, couple other things. And um, that's about it for tutorial one. Uh, if you're interested in what I'm up to, please feel free to follow me on Twitter, uh, twitter.com slash jamiemcg. Um, and if you like these tutorials, uh, please feel free to subscribe. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments, send me a message, uh, an at reply on Twitter, an email. Uh, whatever you want to do. And I'll try to get back to you and uh, help you out a little bit. Anyway, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, have a nice night.